Welding is often used for large structures that are difficult or impossible to fabricate entirely in a shop. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is. True. Weldments are composed of a number of separate pieces fastened together as a unit. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is. True. A seam weld is a type of arc and gas weld. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is. False. The symbol for the desired weld is attached to the reference line or shank of the arrow. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is. True. Groove weld size is usually specified on the welding symbol. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is. True. In a welding drawing joints are all shown as they would appear before welding. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is. True. A fillet weld is a type of resistance weld. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is. False. The usual fillet weld has equal legs. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is. True. In a welding symbol the arrow points to the joint where the weld is to be made. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is. True. A groove weld is a type of arc and gas weld. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is. True. Type of weld is typically not specified on the welding symbol. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is. False. Welding is often more expensive when only one or a few identical parts are required. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is. False. A spot weld is a type of resistance weld. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is. True. Welding templates can simplify drawing welding symbols by hand. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is. True.